17 degrees here in Tennessee. And the question comes, Pastor Dow, what is the difference between a 223 and a 556 five, round um, for the AR-15? Anyway, I'm going off of my previous expertise. You know what I mean? I, it's been a long time since I visited stuff like this, so let me go ahead and try to do my just do here. Um, while you can fire a 223 um, through a AR-15 that is slotted and made for a 5.56, however, if you have a barrel um, that is only designed for 223s, uh, it is not wise for you to fire a 5.56 um, through that particular um, AR-15, simply because of um, a whole bunch of factors, but instead of going in all that, uh, let me say there's a 223 usually at it's 55 grain, a 556 is usually um, 62 grains. Uh, the 556 green tip you, it has a metal rod. That's the reason why they call it armor piercing. Um, it has a, a, a metal rod that goes right down the center of it. Uh, a more powerful round with more penetrating force. Uh, again, I will tell you over and over again. A lot of times people are running around with vest, you know what I mean? And they think that that vest is going to secure them uh, against uh, rifle rounds. It won't do it. It just simply will not do it. I don't care. Policemen, law enforcement, uh, SWAT, uh, unless you got ceramic plates and stuff in it. But uh, I can tell you right now that uh, the vest only designed to stop the, the uh, round that they're pretty much carrying themselves. Uh, which is just um, a little tidbit that you probably need to know. But anyway, uh, that's the difference between a 223 and a 556. 223, um, uh, again, you know, they're out there in abundance and stuff. Um, uh, but the majority AR 15s, at least the ones that I have, you know, they're usually 556, and it's good for you to actually test um, because, you know, some barrels have different twists uh, going down the chamber and stuff. You could actually. Um, get into some um, horrific conditions and stuff if you try to turn around and fire literally fire a um uh a five five six down a two two three barrel i mean really um so you probably want to investigate do a little bit more but that's just it in a nutshell hope i've answered your question hallelujah hey y'all have a wonderful day it's 17 degrees here in tennessee feels like five that's what the weather report says and of course, a little bit colder for me because I live next to uh, Spring Fed Creek. Uh, when I went out there this morning, it was like 10. Hey, have a wonderful day.